Mr. Porter presents Style Begins at Home. Whilst we like to think we're relatively undemanding at Mr. P, we do have one or two little rules we like to adhere to. Some are in order to show respect to our colleagues, most are to show respect to our clients and customers, and the remainder are just because we can. We don't fight, squabble or sulk. If something or someone annoys us, we say so. Or seek consolation in a packet of Haribo. Of course, we wouldn't eat our Haribo in public. In fact, at all of our events, nobody from Mr. Porter is allowed to eat at all. So you can either stuff yourself before or after, but never during. When hosting a party, your job is to make sure everyone else is fed, not to feed yourself. And how off-putting if a client or customer comes to ask you a question and you have a giant prawn canapé sticking out of your mouth? Oh dear no! Incidentally, if we do serve food, the C word, that's for canapé, is banned. Small snacks with bits of fluff on them are not favoured. A hearty helping of shepherd's pie is. Cocktails, of course, are most welcome. There is nothing more off-putting to a guest than a host with only a glass of water in his or her hand. Where's the fun in that? James Bond doesn't order water, neither does Don Draper, and neither do we. Make that a double. Incidentally, microwave broccoli is banned from the staff kitchen. It should actually be banned from the world's kitchens. We try very hard not to veer into fashion talk territory. We don't like it, and nor do our customers. And thus there are certain words we frown upon. Layering is one, must have is another. We put what we write to the pub test. If you wouldn't say this to one of your friends in the pub, then why would you use it in an email or the journal? A man should never act too animatedly at the news that his new pair of Lavin sneakers has arrived. Saunter slowly to pick them up, carry the bag subtly to your desk, and only when you're sure nobody is looking, rush to the loo to try them on. Birthdays that fall on a weekday are dreaded. Nobody in Mr. Porter is keen on the idea of colleagues gathering around his desk, singing happy birthday quite badly, and then handing him a dodgy chocolate cake that he then has to inexpertly slice into 24 pieces. Men don't do birthdays. Mr. Porter doesn't put kisses on the end of emails to colleagues, possibly not even to friends or lovers. A few of our female colleagues do this, and it always leaves us with an uncomfortable conundrum. Is it mean to reply without one? Mr. Porter doesn't use male models. We believe that men don't like looking at people better looking than they are. This is one reason why most male style icons are dead. They're no competition, and so we're happy to sing their praises. Take Steve McQueen, very talented, very stylish, and very dead. What more can you ask for? Of course, at staff parties, none of the above rules apply. At these events, you will see us happily shoving down prawn and broccoli canapes, slagging off everyone, head to toe in layering, singing happy birthday to anyone who will listen while high kicking to the DJ set so that everyone can catch a glimpse of our new Lanvin Python trim suede and leather sneakers. Chin Chin. <laughs>